Hey guys, this week in the rundown, NASA, yes NASA, is looking for sailors to become astronauts. We're going over 21 days of total sailor fitness. We talk with sailors from CNO's Rapid Innovation Cell. There are seven things you need to remember about transferring your educational benefits. Now this is pretty cool. NASA is now accepting applications from officers and enlisted to join their space program. Only seven of the 338 astronauts are active duty. To be eligible, applicants must have a four-year degree in science, engineering, or math, and a minimum of three years experience in their field. Other requirements include being physically fit, having 20-20 vision, and being at least 62 to 75 inches tall. Now, I don't think I'm eligible, but if you are, and if you're interested, go to usajobs.gov and search for the astronaut applications. They're being accepted until February 18th. The Every Sailor, Every Day campaign has begun their 21 days of total sailor fitness. The campaign is providing sailors with tips and resources to manage holiday stress throughout the season and into 2016. The campaign began December 14th and is expected to last until January 3rd, 2016. Each of the 21 days will focus on a different area related to holiday stress to help sailors cope physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. Topics covered will include navigating transitions and deployment during the holidays, fitness and nutrition tips to avoid seasonal weight gain, the impact of alcohol on stress, strengthening relationships, and more. Check out the blog that goes more in depth by visiting navstress.wordpress.com. This week, MC1 Fabrizio from CNO's office talked with some of the sailors from CNO's Rapid Innovation Cell who are working on creating a new LinkedIn-style detailing portal. The first trial run of this system is currently being developed with the goal of eventually improving both the officers and enlisted process throughout the fleet. This supports CNP's priority to better match sailors' skills with fleet requirements. Here's a couple of clips from their discussion. See, when I, my order started coming up, I called a detailer, I gave him my preferences, and he gave me a list of three or four jobs. With this, it seems like you could, what it hopefully happens is that it's this idea of transparency and really getting market forces involved where I can see opportunities that I would want to do. And maybe I didn't really, in that five minute conversation with my detailer, he didn't understand all the skill sets and you know, all my desires and interests um, that really make me like who I am and what I could bring to the table. The full video is on the CNO's Facebook page. Finally, All Hands has a blog that lists seven things you need to remember about transferring your educational benefits to your family members. The blog provides information on using your post 9-11 GI Bill, tips for ensuring your family members are eligible, and links to help get you started. Check out the blog by clicking the graphic on the All Hands homepage. Well, that's all we have this time. There will not be a rundown episode during the holiday leave weeks, so I'll be sure to check back in with you guys when 2016 hits. As always, be safe, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to you all. From the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.